Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick, brutally honest review of the Kenzie, the IPL at home um, laser hair removal tool. So probably if you're watching this video, you've seen the ad for this. Maybe you are thinking about getting this. So the reason I wanted to make this review is because I honestly don't really like this product. I've had proper laser hair removal at the plastic surgeon's office because of quarantine. I can't continue with it, so that's what made me interested in this. The reason I did end up buying it, at first I thought this is too good to be true, and I think it kind of is, but I saw a few people that I would consider people that are very trustworthy, I've watched them for quite a few years on YouTube, raving about this. So because there was a couple people in particular, I'm like, okay, I really trust their opinion, I got it. Um, now I feel like they were lying, unfortunately, but so this retails for 297 Canadian. That's what I paid. So it's not the cheapest thing in the world. Yes, obviously it's cheaper than going to the plastic surgeon's office or a laser hair removal clinic, but it's still not super cheap. You can get $50 off coupons. So a lot of influencers have those coupons or you can find it on Kenzie's website. Unfortunately though, when it got to Canada, I had to pay, I think, $50 in duties, so essentially the coupon was useless. <laughs> um, but that's, I mean, not the company's fault or anything like that. But so the instructions are you're supposed to use this once per week for 12, at least 12 weeks to see results. It did say, though, typically after three to four uses, so three to four weeks, you're going to notice results. So you use it once per week for 12 weeks, and then after that, you're gonna use it once per month for a few months, and then once every two to three months. So that sounded very nice to me. People say this doesn't hurt. I kind of disagree, and I will throw it out there. I am not a wimp at all. I don't mind needles, nothing medical related. I'm not a baby at all. I can take actually a decent amount of pain. Something about laser hair removal or IPL, I do not like that snapping feeling. I, I don't know if it's maybe the anticipation that it might hurt. I, I don't like that type of feeling. So when you turn this on, let me just say, so just for anyone out there, if you have the same product, when you get it, plug this in. The on off button is here. So when it does light up, when it's plugged in, it will turn green. So when I first took this out of the box, I kept pushing this nothing was happening. I tried it in all the different outlets in my house, would not turn on, I was holding it down. I emailed the company, I think a couple times, and never heard anything back from them. Finally, one day I tried it again, and I held it down for a really long time, and then it did turn on. Often now when I plug it in, it does need to be pushed two or three times. It seems to have like a mind of its own, but just if you're having that problem, just keep trying, it might eventually um, go on. It, this goes from level one to five. So by pushing the on off button, it also changes the levels. So you're supposed to use this on level five though for it to be effective. So I think when people are saying, oh, it doesn't hurt, I don't feel anything, it's they're probably using it on level four or under. And yes, I agree, level four and under, it doesn't feel like anything. It's like a tiny, tiny little pulse you feel. Level five does feel like a hot rubber band snapping, I feel. Some days I find it was worse than others, but it gets extremely hot. Like after you click it a few times, this little window gets so hot. So I feel like you could really burn yourself. When I was doing up here, I, I felt like you could potentially, if you're not careful, you could burn yourself really bad. And how silly would you feel if you burnt your face with some you know cheap little at home laser hair removal product? I didn't really like that about it. I feel like in general, this is just a very cheap product. You can go on Alibaba, I'll put the picture up here. This is a private labeled product. I mean, to be honest, let's think about it. Like it probably, I don't know, at the most probably cost them five bucks to manufacture a box this thing. Um, am I saying that this is the exact same product? No, I don't know that for certain, but I'm not a dummy like, you know, they've had a good marketing campaign. They work with a lot of influencers. I believe they pay influencers quite a bit to talk positively about this. Um, when you're thinking, okay, if they're buying it for 30 to $40, I'm sure they're paying a lot less because they order a lot. They have quite a bit of margins to work with for marketing purposes, which I mean, good on them, but just keep that in mind. So you have to also think too, is this cheap 
little thing that you ordered online that you can use at home going to work the same as the laser hair removal machines that they have in plastic surgeons or doctor's offices. I mean, just from working in dental, like I will look through the ordering books sometimes, just medical equipment, the cost of that stuff. So those machines probably cost tens and tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So is it fair to say like this is going to work just the same? Like I, I don't think so. So my experience with laser hair removal in the past, and if you live here in Toronto, I really like Dr. Bieber's office. I will link him in the down bar. He's a plastic surgeon's office. So I would go there for laser hair removal. I did my underarms there and then we, I wasn't completely done um, like upper lip chin area. So that area. So I started here after one session, the hair barely ever grew back. I think I did four to five sessions on my underarms just because your hair kind of grows in different cycles. So you have to, I believe I would go every five or six weeks for an appointment there um, just so they can really make sure it doesn't grow back. And they did warn me though, even though a lot of people will call it laser hair removal, it's really laser hair reduction. So in the future, it will maybe grow back a little bit, but even if I don't shave for months under my arms, there's maybe only like one tiny little fine hair that pokes through. I used to have very bad bumps under there. After one session with them, it totally eliminated it. My skin is really smooth there. I was really, really pleased with the results. So I did that and then we were starting up here, but I think due to quarantine or whatever, I couldn't finish the sessions. So I was interested in this product and I eventually wanted to do my whole body. Yes, it is more money there, but I just found it worked so well. And, you know, the doctor comes in, takes your medical history, gives the go ahead to the medical um, personnel that is going to be doing the laser hair removal. So I would just caution if you do go somewhere to get it done, make sure, make sure, sorry, it's a plastic surgeon's office or maybe like a medical place that they do a lot of this. I've seen some places like even in the back of nail salons, I'm not saying that those places can't be good but just be very cautious because I have heard horror stories of women getting laser hair removal and they get horrible burns on their face or their body and you would just feel so silly if just to save a few bucks you know or save a few hundred dollars that you ended up burning yourself um, and probably the equipment they're using, if the prices are quite a bit cheaper, it's, it's not good, right? So I have used this religiously for, I've actually used this 13 times. So what I would do, you're supposed to, before you use this, you're supposed to shave and exfoliate your body. So I would always do that Sunday night, and then I would use this on Monday. So what they say in the instructions, which I find a lot of YouTubers don't mention, you have to go you don't have to, but it works more effectively. It says you can go over the same area three times. So because they're suggesting that in the instructions, I figure, okay, I better do that just so I'm not wasting weeks on end if I'm only going over my body uh, once. So I will say though, when you're thinking of it, like most people online will say, oh, this only takes 20 minutes to do your whole body. No, if you want to do your whole body, this is going to take like a good hour and a half to do it properly. Like you have to go click, 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 click. Like it's, the window is very tiny. So to go over your whole body, not once, but three times, like even just to do your arms, it takes forever. And then my legs are big. I don't know, my legs take forever. So what I ended up doing, I was like, okay, I cannot do this all at once. I'm a very impatient person and I cannot be wasting like an hour and a half every time that I do this. So I clued in, okay, you know, I'm gonna do my arms one day and then I'll do my legs the next just to kind of break it up a little bit. So I found that that helped. Um, yes, you can hold down the button and it zaps a little bit quicker, but it still takes a really long time. When I got this done at the plastic surgeon's office, they literally just go over the area once. It's so quick. I would say, yes, it does feel a little bit hot, but this thing gets extremely hot. Like this feels like it's going to burn you. It says it has a fan built in and yes, you can hear the fan running, but I feel like the fan does nothing to cool it down. So a lot of the YouTubers that I watch said they noticed results after three to four weeks. I never noticed any result whatsoever until maybe the 11th time I used this. I was about to give up, but I wanted to make this video. 
And even now, after using it 13 times, my hair growth has slowed down only a minuscule amount. I still have to shave every single day. So I feel like I would have said, okay, this is maybe worth it if I can get by without shaving for one to two days, but I still have to shave every single day. So yes, it did slow it down a little bit, but when I still have to shave every day, like I feel like what did I just pay money for and waste all that time? Like I would suggest you listen to a podcast, listen to like an audiobook where while you're learning because to take an hour and a half out of your day, I, especially like if you had kids or something, I don't know how you would ever get this done. But um, some tips that I wanted to say, like in case you guys still want to go ahead and order this, so it doesn't say anything in the instructions about wearing sunglasses. I would put big black sunglasses on because I just felt like, again, we have something at work, like a curing light, and you're supposed to wear protective eyewear. This was hurting my eyes so bad. So do not look at this. Put safety glasses on. Um, definitely do not use it on your face. It says don't go above your upper lip. Like don't go up here at all and put big black glasses on. So I would suggest that. I would not use this if you have melasma on your face. If you don't know or you're questioning if you have melasma, skip your face. So I do have a little melasma up here. When I put my sunglasses on though, it's completely hidden. And I was basically just using it here a little bit and here. Um, melasma is made worse by heat and light. So this gets extremely hot. I would avoid using this on your face in the summer months. You're gonna have to be very extremely careful to always be wearing sunscreen. Um, if you're really prone to pigmentation, I don't know if I would use this on my face at all. Um, I'm just warning you, especially here along the chin area, I found that this felt like it was going to burn me. Like it was really scaring me. Um, and it has a fan in it. It's supposed to cool down. It does not cool down whatsoever. Like I have to keep unplugging it and letting it cool down because you will scald your skin, I feel like. So also be mindful too, because something I didn't know when I was younger, if you're on the birth control pill, that makes your skin more sensitive to light and melasma. So you can look into it. I'm not gonna go too much into it. So be very careful. Um, also too, if you use any sort of acid or anything like a serum that has acid in it, that can you know affect how sensitive your skin is to light. So I would avoid using products like that. You have to be very, very careful, you guys, okay? Um, you're supposed to avoid fake tan before you use this. Don't use it over tattoos or any dark moles on your body. Um, I do have a few darker moles. I would just avoid it. The odd time though, I don't know. Like sometimes you would use this, not even over a mole, and it would hurt so bad. So I don't know what is with that. Um, yeah. Oh, also too, it says that this has like a safety sensor built in and like it won't flash unless it's pressed up to the light. The last few times I've used this, I can be holding it up in the air and it just starts flashing like crazy. Also too, this um, little plug is getting loose. So I find when I'm using it, it really almost just falls out. So you have to be careful with that. Um, and it gets really, really hot. So... I mean, saying all that, I can't really give it a positive review because it really barely slowed down my hair growth. I find it kind of hurts. It overheats. I feel like you have the potential of burning yourself. I would just be very, very careful with this product. I mean, maybe you want to use it on a lower setting for a longer time. I'm just impatient. I would rather just save up the money, go to the plastic surgeon, get it done properly once and be done with it. Um, I mean, I will make an update video if for some reason I change my mind. I'm not going to change my mind on how I feel about the actual product because I think it's kind of just a cheap piece of junk, to be honest. Um, but maybe my results, that will change. So I hope that that video helped you guys. I mean, you can kind of see based on my experience why I would not recommend it. I'm not saying this product might work well for you. It's just, I'm just comparing my experience in the past. So I know laser hair removal does work for my body type. I have very dark hair naturally and light skin. So I'm actually like a perfect candidate because there's quite a contrast between my hair and my skin type. 
So I do know laser hair removal does work well for my body. So this product does not. I think maybe I told myself, okay, I'm gonna give it maybe one more month of use, so four more sessions. If I don't really see results after that, I'm just probably going to quit because I don't wanna be wasting my time, you know, every Sunday and Monday doing this. Yeah, but if you guys have this, let me know. Like maybe have you used it way longer than 12 weeks and it started working? I would be interested in knowing that. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it um, down in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to you. And until next time, bye.